Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me for Military Surplus Wednesday. Yes, the series is coming back. We have some really cool gear coming up. Now this video was made possible by MilitaryClothing.com. Thank you very much folks. This item you will be able to find on their website, so make sure to check that out. Now, what I have here, well, I tell you what, let me just do a 360 for you. Now this pack looks very, very familiar, don't it? This is the proper UC pack, which stands for User Configurable Pack. It looks just like the United States Marine Corps Corman pack. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Just in case you don't remember what the Corman pack looks like, I have it right here. Ah oh, yes. When I showed off this pack for the first time, I received a lot of questions about it. Namely, where can I find it? Where can I buy it at? And the truth is, it's extremely hard to find. It's also extremely expensive. And we'll come back to that later on. But for a quick comparison, here are the two packs. Corman pack, UC pack. Now both of these packs, the UC pack and the Corman pack, are based upon an assault pack that proper makes for the DOD, Department of Defense. Let's take a look at this pack here. Go ahead and remove that. Starting here at the top, you have a reinforced drag handle, very, very burly. Right here you have pass-through covers, so you can run a hydration hose out of this, maybe some cables, some cords, whatever you need to, maybe an antenna, up to you. Both sides going down. You have a zippered pocket, very small. You could fit, I don't know, your cell phone, maybe your keys, your wallet, something like that inside of here, maybe a small snack. I like these zipper pulls, by the way. Rubberized, textured, over the cord, very nice. Going down from that zippered pocket, you have two lines of Velcro, four patches and so on. Proper, right there. Going down from that, you have seven lines of Molly and Pals webbing. Six full loops across, so you can attach pouches, anything that you need to. That webbing continues on the sides of the pack as well. Now when you're looking at the front of the pack, on the left side, as you can see right here, you have a pocket which runs down the length of the side of the pack. That's great for an axe, a hatchet, maybe even a saw. This type of pocket is only on the left side of the pack. Going down from the webbing, right here you have two compression straps, two-way zipper. You could fit a compressible sleeping bag inside of this, maybe some wet clothing, whatever you want to of course. Nice high visibility fabric. Three drainage holes from the top. In addition to the drainage holes and the compression straps, you also have two lines of webbing. Flipping the pack around, as you can see here, you have a padded harness with plenty of strapping so you can attach on maybe a GPS or so on. Adjustable sternum strap. Quick release buckles on both sides. Very nice feature. Nicely padded, by the way. As you can see here, you have these two rows of raised padding and you have a recess in the middle. That will promote airflow and the evaporation of your sweat. There is a waist belt, fully adjustable, very basic, no padding. Now this pack is what I call a molly hook and loop. And what I mean by that is this. You have lots of molly on the outside for different pouches and so on, all of your attachments. And on the inside, the entire pack is covered with hook and loop. Velcro in other words. So you can attach all sorts of different pouches and so on on the inside. And that is where this pack gets its name, the UC, User Configurable Pack. So check this out right here on the lid. This is an attachment that I have. Very cool. This is a makeshift miscellaneous kit, flashlight, knife, first aid kit, toll paper, water purification, fire, starter, hand warmers, stuff like that. So here's all of that Velcro. Very, very cool. You have a zipper right here, which gives you access to this piece of foam, which gives this flap some rigidity. You can also stick maps in there or other gear. Going to the inside of this pack, more attachments. These are very neat. This here is also an attachment. This does not come with the backpack. None of these attachments do. You have to buy them separately, but this is pretty neat. This is a hydration carrier with hook and loop front and back. If you guys are interested in seeing a video about this, let me know. So what you have here is very simple. This is just a large pocket with tons of Velcro all the way around. 
You have Velcro on the sides, you have Velcro on the back, and that's pretty much it. You have three drainage holes down here at the bottom of the pack. You have a zipper up here at the top, which gives you access to the frame sheet. You can also stick other gear back there if you need to, maps, important documents, some extra cash, whatever you want. That is the UC pack. Now my friends, I am a big fan of packs like this, the Molly Hook and Loop packs. There's many different types out there. We've reviewed all sorts of different types, including the Corman pack. We've taken a look at packs from Vanquist. We've taken a look at packs from Red Rock and so on. The fact that you could take these packs, which are essentially an empty vessel and create your own system is an aspect that I really, really like. Is it for everyone? No, but there's a lot of people out there who are looking for something like this. When it comes to colors, this pack is available in black, coyote brown, and olive green, which you see right here. When it comes to weight, you're looking at around three pounds on my scale. When it comes to the materials, this is a 1000D Kadura material. Very, very strong. This will last a very long time. Very burly, also heavy. The zippers are SBS, which is a very well-known brand. As you can see with the teeth here, they are covered with this water-resistant coating, this fabric that will help keep water out. Now, when it comes to the buckles, there's no branding on them, so I'm not sure what they are. When it comes to cost, this runs $100 at militaryclothing.com. You can also find this on other sites such as Amazon. Now, when it comes to pouches and so on, there's plenty of different brands out there that make them, such as Maxpedition, uh, Red Rock, and so on, Proper, of course. So there's plenty of different options out there. Going back to the Corman pack. This pack is a little bit larger, it's slightly different. And if you guys want a comparison between this pack and the other one, just let me know. This pack runs, on average, around $350, and that does not include any medical supplies. The Corman pack is extremely hard to find. Like I said, extremely expensive. It has a few additional features. It's also a little bit larger than the UC pack. But virtually, my friends, this is the same pack just slightly smaller. So right there you have it, that pretty much wraps up our look at the proper UC pack. Very, very cool in my book anyway. I'm a big fan of packs just like this, the Molly Hook and Loop. Very, very neat. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do, drop them down below. Another military surplus video is coming up next week. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, take care.